Captain's Log a ride sharing program has allowed the music group called the Venus Dolls to get a ride on the Enterprise. We are on our way to Starbase 99 where they will be entertaining Federation dignitaries. I am not happy having them on board, but orders are orders. This looks like the kind of stuffed shirt event that bores most starship captains. So I just got word that Worth is helping out in engineering. They said he will be about one half hour late. Very well. Tasha can you wait a little while until Worth gets here to take over at Ops? Yes I can Captain. I am looking forward to meeting with these Venus dolls. So am I Lieutenant. They have promised a good show for us. I worry about the effect that the Venus dolls will have on the male crew. Deanna I do believe that you are jealous. Commander Rika, it's my responsibility to smooth over relations between visitors and the crew. Indeed it is, Counselor. See to it that they are made comfortable and feel welcome. Captain Priority message coming on screen. Admiral Sagan. Captain Picard, I am aware of your current mission. Divert immediately to Tabby's star. What's there, Admiral? I am unfamiliar. It's never been explored. There is one known planet in a huge structure or something like it. A freighter received a distress call a century old. Starfleet wants it investigated. First contact is at your discretion, and is encouraged, assuming that you find a technological civilization. A century, Admiral. What's the point? Starfleet is concerned this may involve the Borg. Proceed at warp 8, Captain. Mr. Crusher set course for Tabis Star, warp 8. Mr. Data, report on Tabis Star. Tabis Star is an F-type main sequence star, thought to have one natural satellite that was not discovered until the middle of Earth's 21st century. Its periodic dimming has perplexed scientists even in our century. In case we run into the Borg, I want our shield harmonics to be modulated in case we run into the Borg. Also rotate phaser frequencies. I will do my best. We know how hard it is to defend against them. Good. I want battle drills to run for all three shifts. Number one, give the word. This is the executive officer. We are entering a potentially hostile situation. Yellow alert. Shields up. All hands stand to battle stations. What do you girls think so far? It's a little scary since they went to yellow alert, and we have changed course too. Well look at it this way. Maybe we will have some adventures. Hi I am Counselor Deanna Troy. I will be acquainting you girls with ship procedures. Thanks Counselor. A starship is a new experience for us. I know you have seven members total. I will talk with the others later. When do we get to meet with the captain? He is busy right now, but hopefully soon. Okay everyone go to your cabins. The bridge just sounded battle stations. Ensign Crusher, your responses have been slow and sloppy. We are going to practice our battle drills until we are proficient. Yes sir. We will give it another go. Commander, we are approaching the system Tabistar. There's a huge structure, over 1,500 miles across. Full power to shields. All stop. Charge phaser banks. Arm the photon torpedoes. Science Officer Lang, begin readings. Report Mr. Worth. What is it? It is a structure of incredible size, more than 1,500 miles across. Is it Borg technology? Can you tell? No Captain, there is no sign of Borg technology. Close to close visual range. Maintain battle stations. 
Dispatch a shuttlecraft to examine it up close. Science Officer Lang, what have you found? The structure is over 1,500 miles side to side, and apparently there are automated robots which are adding on to it. We have spotted mining operations in the asteroid belt surrounding the system. I want recommendations. Should we attempt to contact them? We have already been told that first contact is at our discretion. I suggest that we proceed. Our scans have not disclosed any weaponry. I agree with Data. I will have the communications officer attempt contact. Commander, I am receiving a signal. It's from the alien warship. They wish a conference. Are their defensive systems activated? Yes they are. They do not appear as if they intend to attack. I will go speak to the council. Keep an eye on that ship. Councilwoman, the alien warship is contacting us, requesting a conference. They said they are peaceful, and wish to speak to a representative. Do they appear to be hostile? We don't think so. They said they can transfer a representative to their ship. I will send a representative over there. Welcome aboard the Enterprise. Please go with this gentleman. Exactly what is he? I am Lieutenant Worf of the Enterprise. This way. Thank you Lieutenant. Dismissed. Please take a seat. I am Lisa Tang of the Node 74 Council. How may I help you? I am Jean Luck Pickard, Captain of the Starship Enterprise. One of our ships intercepted a distress call either from this station or your planet. It was a very old distress call, 100 years by our reckoning. We were ordered to investigate. We called it the Holocaust. We use nuclear charges in excavating the raw materials that we need to increase the size of this station. All of the work is automated. We just added another node. Unfortunately one of the asteroids shattered, and millions of fragments rained down on our world. We didn't have time to evacuate many people. The fragments heated the atmosphere, burning off most of the vegetation. We do not believe that the planet is quite ready for our return. Well if there is anything we can do to help you, please let me know now or we will be on our way. There is one thing, Captain. We have been hearing strange groaning noises, especially when the planet is near. Maybe you could find out why. Feel free to explore and look around, both here and on the planet. I believe her to be telling the truth, though I detected increased anxiety when she talked about going to the planet. Science Officer Lang, dispatch a science team via shuttlecraft to the planet. We are going to stay here for now. I will have Commander LaForge dispatch an engineering team to the station. Thank you.
intermittent humanoid readings, and there's something else. I got a reading of some kind of hominid. It is in the area. I think I see something. Oh my. Phasers, on stun. Don't fire unless necessary. Can you understand us? We mean no harm. We wish to speak with you. We can go to the two shelters we detected. I will visit one, and I want a volunteer to visit the second one. Do you hear it? Metal fatigue maybe? That's what our instruments are recording. This station has grown so large that torsional stress has become a major problem. Between the planet and the sun, it won't be long before this station starts breaking up. We will make our report to the science officer. These people will have to evacuate.